Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. This is part four, where I've changed up my outfit a bit. I decided to actually get fully into the thief outfit that we discovered last episode, and I've just been kind of walking around waiting for uh, a video of mine to finish rendering so I could start recording. Uh, so I've actually just been running around kind of just killing enemies up here and doing just practicing some moves. Uh, I've been trying to practice some parrying. Um, so we're gonna get into more stuff this episode but last time it was finally defeating the bell gargoyles and having a huge amount of trouble with that and then navigating uh, where exactly we're supposed to go. We ended up finding out that we're supposed to get into the lower undead berg, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we learned a couple of things, because I've had a few of you comment some good, uh, advice since my second episode, uh, went up, um, just, just overnight. So, uh, I've learned that kindled bonfires and the firelink shrine is already kindled. That's how I get 10 flasks. So, um, it's, I learnt that last episode when I discovered it, like kindling the blacksmith uh, above the fire above the blacksmith got me 10, but the one in the Firelink Shrine has already been kindled, that's why I get 10. So that's where that was coming from, so that's good to know that information. But yeah, I got some uh, good, good stats, a lot of good tips on how to do things, and um, especially... I can't figure out the timing on this attack. <laughs> it's so bad because it takes so long. Um, but... Um, you told me that backstabbing actually has an actual animation. It's not just if you just stab them in the back, it does, does extra damage. Um, so if you actually, uh, yeah, go to stab them in the back, it'll do a proper animation. So we'll practice some more of that. Practice some more parrying. I want to just like get, get better, get better with the, get better with the actual combat and timing of stuff, uh, to, to figure that all out. Because I'm just like, I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be as the attack is going to hit me or whether I need to do it like just before. Because I'm, I've got like a shield that's supposed to be more for parrying. But I'll just have to have, I'll just have to have a look and see really. Oh god. Hold on. Let me just, this, this area is already just hugely chaotic. So let me just do that. And then let's try parry this guy. Hmm. I need to figure out the timing specifically. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. There we go. Oh. That did additional damage because it left him open, but I guess I might not have been close enough to do an actual thing. We will work on it, we'll work on it. Because I've been doing some, I was doing some practicing, like I said, while I was uh, waiting for stuff to finish so I could record. Um, and I've, I've gotten some successful parries in, and we'll look at backstabbing as well. But it's good to, it's good to have the information um, about... Oh, I always like get confused when they don't look hugely... Like, <laughs> when they don't look see-through, I'm like, oh, there's a person. But no, it's um, not an NPC that's randomly appeared. Um, yeah, I'm also saving up souls at the moment, as you can see. I'm wondering if it's probably worth using them to level up at the moment, because I am sitting on quite a lot. Um, because th then again, part of me is like, oh, should I be saving up 20,000 for like that seal to use? Or should I, should I level up? I don't know, because... Um, Part of me wants to put my faith up a couple and just leave it at that just so I can use that uh, Astora's sword and just never up, never do my faith again. Because <laughs> I've already put stats into my faith before so I kind of want to do that. But I can only level up twice. That's the problem. So I'm like, what do I, What? what's really important to me? What's important to me is mostly my actual strength, dexterity and vitality. So I think what I might do is I will level up my strength again. More HP. Dexterity. Um, and then, yeah. I'll, ac I'll accept. I'll accept. I'm really liking the S-Stock at the moment anyway. 
it, fit, it fits with me. So there you go. And now I have... Now I'm running around with less souls to, to gamble with in case I make some mistakes. But I can feel happy knowing that I can just go back to the Firelink Shrine or the Blacksmith Fireplace for those kindled uh, bonfires, which is which is great to get those ten flasks. Um, yeah, this episode we're going to go down again through the lower levels of uh, the Undead Burg. Um... Which is actually the other way, but we're going to do some backstabbing stuff here. or just showcase to see what I can do. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back the other way because we unlocked that shortcut through the gate in that little tunnel part of the bridge. Um, well, let's see. I don't think I'd be able to backstab these guys successfully. Because I think if I stabbed one, it would alert the other. But there is another one that's all by himself, so let's try and do that. That dude's coming at me. There we go. Oh. Oh. No, I thought you were going to attack me, but that's fine. The flask instead. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Baby. So I'm just trying to learn how to get the parry timing more on those... Uh, on just the smaller, smaller mobs to, to practice on, and not doing it super far away from a from a shrine, so I can, um, if I want, I can. Not a shrine, sorry, a fireplace, firelink shrine was where my brain went then. So if I have to be like, almost touching. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so like titanite shard, hell yeah. So they actually. I guess maybe like the giveaway of that is they do like a little animation for you that they're about to turn around and that's like the point. Another Titanite Shard. Okay. Looks like I'm going to be reinforcing this S stock again. Um, also, I was told from the comments in that part two video that reinforcing armor, probably not really worth it because it changes a lot. So I've already replaced the chainmail that I did use a shard on, but that's okay because uh, we learn. And I'll focus more on actual um, weaponry to level up instead. Uh, so that'll that'll be better. So lots of lots of good advice and tips just to make it make it a smoother experience. Now, can I get the backstab on this guy? Because I remember one of the first notes that was left here was try backstab. So I just thought it was like what I could do like that leaping attack. But no. So he he should do like a movement. Okay. But I have enough time... Okay, that's cool. But I have enough time to... I have enough time to press the button. Like, when... As soon as he starts to move, I just need to be standing still and press it. Alright. I was... I'm glad that it doesn't, like, cancel if he, like, gets alerted to you. As soon as you... As soon as he starts to move. So that's great. Um, but yeah. Backstabbing, great. I, parrying is something that I really need to figure out the timing for. But it's, yeah, it's fun to, fun to learn and figure out. And I am enjoying the idea at the moment of using, like, lighter armor for, for better mobility. I can kind of run around like this and have a great time. But for now, let's go uh, run all the way back to the lower Undead Burg area and see what's waiting for us down that way. All right, so we're back out. We're back out here, where we've got a soul on the other side of that gate. That door is locked, and we go down here where these guys are. Now I wonder if we'll be able to. I have a feeling that this guy is probably going to spot me, so I won't be able to get the backstab on this guy. But we can try. Yeah, cool. We can. <laughs> oh, the backstab is great. Should we just charge this guy? Ooh. I think my... Ooh, hold on. Oh, I've got a different attack when I'm running. Alright, that's the same. But if I do this... I, I do like a jab and then another jab. I get like a little double attack. That's cool. Alright. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. 
that's going to be fun. Okay, so, I get a little double jab. So, let's go up here and experiment with that a bit more for sure. Oh, I forgot that there are dogs. Never mind. Not really a good time. Not really a good time for me to experiment with the running jabs when I got dogs. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment. Oh, yeah, because I've got the white light there as well. Fog wall ahead. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what's... Tough enemy. Okay. It says try pyromancy, so I've, I've got fire. Just that, if we die, <laughs> we'll be going back to... If we die, we'll be going back to the... Filing Shrine. And I'm sitting on 3,000 souls. Do I want to die right now? Not particularly. <laughs> Part of me wants to save these souls and actually level up. Maybe I should do that if I feel like I'm going to die. Ooh, it does do. It does a double stab. That's cool. That's awesome. What the hell? Whoa! I didn't realize he was par like in a parry stance. Jesus Christ! That could have been that could have been bad. Luckily, that didn't do an insane amount of damage. That was cool though. I want to do something like that. Get out of here, sir. Waiting for me in here. I think I needed like 4,000 or so souls to level up, so... I'll just save up whatever's sitting in here. Hey guys, I know you're here. I haven't forgotten about you. Oh god, oh god. No, I got stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. The dog has stuck me. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, thanks dog for waiting. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. That was insane. I think by all rights I should have died there. Oh no. Come on. Jesus Christ, these guys are no joke. Ah, oh, and then they throw shit at me. Oh! The timing of that one was good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, buddy. Meanwhile, I'm like sitting on the souls that I have being like, don't want to lose them to the boss. How did I not lose it to that? There was a period there where that dog could have eaten me and didn't. I should have died. But I'll take it. I'll take it. There's more dogs here though, isn't there? Should be like two others. Yeah, there you are. Is there another one? I ain't seeing it. Well... Maybe I should kindle this shrine that's in the, uh... Maybe I should kindle the shrine that's in the Undead Burg. To get more flasks. Oh, I don't know, is that, is that, is that such a great idea? Not really. This takes me here. Whoa, buddy. Watch that jump, please. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one I'm like, hmm, is it worth kindling? Because it, it'll cost me, it'll cost me two humanity to do so. But I'm practically just here to level up at this point. <laughs> um, um, I'm gonna level up dexterity again. We're going for a faster, we're going for a faster build for sure. Alright, I feel okay with that. That at least clears out those souls, so I can see what I'm, uh, so I can see what I'm going to be dealing with. Damn it, guys. Settle down. Having the extra five flasks, though, is, like, super necessary <laughs> when you're a player like me. Oh, I, you, miss, you miss the dog so often. Super awkward to figure out the timing. Oh god, that was bad. Blood loss! We died. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. I need to get back to that fog wall. See what's lying in front of it. But I'm being blocked by all of those enemies. It's fine. I'm I'm learning additional things, which is which is great for me. So I'll go get my souls back. Um, maybe for the sake of getting more flasks, I'll also circle back to the firelink shrine. So that's going to be a lot of dead air that I'll save you time on. So I'm going to circle back to the firelink shrine because it's kindled instead of kindling this one, um, and then come back to that to that foggy wall. Okay, we're here. We're ready. We're in front of the fog wall. Uh, took me a little while to get here. I also leveled up a second time <laughs> because of the amount of souls that I had. And I was like, ah, oh, my whole intention of leveling up the first time was to not have so many souls in case I lose them. So I've just done it again. <laughs> uh, but I've leveled up dexterity, another point, and we're in front of this fog wall. And while I think that the Undead Berg fireplace is probably a better because it's closer, it's just like... Do I want to spend that two humanity kindling it? Realistically, probably. This is a problem that I have with like RPGs or like video games in general, that it's like you get limited inventory items and you go, can't spend it, have to save it till right at the end and then you never use it. And that's like one of my faults. So uh, I should probably kindle it. And if I, if I struggle with whatever the hell is going to be through here, then yes. I will most likely kindle that undead berg fireplace and come through the other way. But let's have a look. And see if I'm getting worried for nothing. Whoa! Oh! I'm not getting worried for nothing! There's something here. Dude, dogs as well! You're gonna put dogs in this situation with me as well? Oh, dude. Ah. You're really gonna put dogs in here with with him too. Like that's just so unfair. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I get it, buddy. Capra demon. Okay. You're a problem. Are there any more dogs? I sure hope not. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're a bit tough. Oh my god. Oh, that's a double swing. Whoa, that's a double swing. Double swing, and I'm dead. Jesus Christ. Uh, Capra Demon, okay. Uh, the, the dogs coming in really... The dogs coming in really mess with that one, that's for sure. having those two dogs. Um, try pyromancy. I don't think I have the capacity to do pyromancy unless I get up. Oh, well, I guess I could... 
walk, go up the stairs and sort of try a try a bit of like a long range battle or situation. I have to see. Regardless, we should try it again. So, clear out my minuscule enemies over here. Hopefully, save my health and don't get hit. And we'll see how I go in terms of making this journey over and over, because then I'll probably just kindle the undead bug. Especially considering there's not even a cutscene, you just walk through the door and that dude's like, ready. He's like, coming out swinging. And he's huge! Let's give this another go, shall we? Let's try and get my retrieval so I can at least hold on to the souls that I had. Oh, buddy. Okay. Let me see. Can I go up here? Okay, I might be able to go up here. Hopefully you can't come up the stairs. Yeah, of course you can come up the stairs! Oh! Okay, pyromancy is an- pyromancy is an option. Somewhat. Pyromancy is an option. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Whoa! I thought I dodged, but apparently not. Uh, no, I'm- oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Whoa, holy shit. What if I just do that at you, sir? Oh, that's good. Yep. Eat it. While I have the opportunity. Okay, this is good. This is good. Thank you, whoever suggested pyromancy. Whoa! That swing! Whoa! Okay, dodged at the right time. Oh, my god. Don't run out of stamina. Oh! Hey, Capra Demon, how you doing? Whoa, whoa, no! What? Whoa, what was that? Oh my god, what was that attack that he just did? Key to the depths. I thought I almost just got absolutely one-shotted. He did some weird thing there. Oh, Homeward Bone. Thank you. Demon Great Machete. Woo! That pyromancy tip. What a lifesaver. Holy crap. Um, we got another humanity. I may as well go back to that fireplace and kindle that. Kindle that sweet, sweet fireplace. What did we get? Demon Great Machete? I need 40 strength to wield it effectively. <laughs> 133 physical damage. Um, the lesser Capra demons use these great swords in pairs. The blade is cast iron and hooked. The sword is imbued with no particular magic, but for those who have the strength, its great weight will smash foes mercilessly. How do I hold it? Ooh, look at that! Goddamn pyramid head, dude. I can't even wield it in two hands. It just is literally, I can just run around with it to look cool. All right. My massive cleaver. Cool. That's great. I was gonna fall back on firebombs in case pyromancy wasn't that strong, but it did me, did me a solid. It did me, did me a goddamn solid. And that's, that's cool. Um, I'm thinking part of me wants to go to the undead berg uh, fireplace now for safety, and I'm also sitting on 8k souls now. Oh. Praise the sun. Yeah, praise the sun. Hang on, this doesn't go anywhere? Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. Okay. I actually thought this was a... Okay, well we needed to go here because he dropped a key, right? What did he drop? Open inner door of undead asylum main hall. No, he dropped us the key to the depths. Opens door leading from lower berg to the depths. Oh, I know which door that was. I know which door that was. Um, that's back this way. That's that one that we... That door that we saw that was locked. Okay, we needed to get the Capra Demon. To get a key. To go through. Okay. 
<laughs> second try, second try. Um, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah, cool, key to the depths, perfect. Is there gonna be a bonfire down here? Or should I go back to the undead berg? It's dark. Imminent death? Oh no. All right, I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going to the I'm going to the undead berg fireplace, and we're going to kindle that uh, instead. That'll be a great time. So I'm going to go back there. We're going to level up, and then we will continue. So Capra Demon defeated. I'm excited that I uh, I didn't spend as long on that one as the the goddamn bell gargoyles. But those those two dogs definitely throw a wrench in the mix. Okay, finally made it back to the to the fireplace. Now we've got a humanity by killing uh, that boss or just killing enough demons already. So that's like, I just noticed we've got the counter there. So I am allowed to reverse my hollowing off of the humanity that I currently have. Then use another one, kindle the fire and get my flasks back, which would be cool. So there we go. So let's, um, let's now use a humanity and also I've switched currently to the rapier because I while I was working through that area realized that my durability of my s stock has actually gone down quite a bit which is which is fair enough um, so I've been using it quite a lot so I'm also going to make my way back to the blacksmith and we're going to repair uh, we're going to repair my uh, s stock so we'll be doing that as well before we proceed uh, but I am going to level up twice um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna have a look and see what I need to, to put in. Um, our vitality is looking pretty good. I mean, it's as good as it can. We can still just get killed in so many small hits anyway. Uh, so at this point, at this point, I'm thinking, um, that doing, because I'm going for a more of a lighter build, particularly, I don't really feel like I need strength, because I'm not gonna be holding anything huge for a while. So I'm kind of focusing on that dexterity because the dexterity is giving me nice uh, increase to my my weapon strength as well as my overall stats. Um, so I'm thinking, um, thinking what might be best is to give myself. Uh, some more endurance now, so I get a little little bit more stamina and a little bit more on the equip load, bleed resistance, and then another one to dexterity. Just another one to dexterity. Pump that up. So dexterity and vitality are my highest stats. Um, and now I'm going to make my way back to the blacksmith, and I'll I will earn enough souls on my way back there to be able to repair uh, my S stock. So, um, again, because I'm doing a lot of back and forth, this is just for the sake of back and forth, I am just going to help you out by not coming along me just walking and killing the same enemies over and over again, because we've kind of seen these areas a lot. So, when it's moments like this, where I'm going to be like, I'm going to go to the blacksmith now, or I'm going to go to the back to the thing, and we'll do that. Like, I'll show you the level up stuff. I'll show you the repairing. I want to show you the progression. But I just, like, the stuff in between, I feel is a little bit dead air. So, cut it out for efficiency's sake, and give you the good stuff. We've got some more people here, since I've defeated the that demon and come back to the Firelink Shrine. There's a couple of extra boys and someone praying. Hmm. Hmm. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. They are all so tiny heads. Tiny heads, but they are, their armor is huge. You are undead as well. We've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. That's interesting. Do you have anything to say about this? Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. You do? I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're on our way back. Yeah, I was going back to the blacksmith and found that guy out, so... 
That's cool. So there's like actual characters that are like walking around, doing stuff, moving around areas. We still got to figure out what's going on with that dude that we, with that dude that we rescued. Where's that guy going to end up? And what's his reward to me going to be? That's my question. Alright. Run on through. Trust me, running through here with the with the rapier when I've gotten so used to the S-Stock and like upgraded it and everything, it's actually been... It's been painful! <laughs> with everything taking like just a little bit longer to kill, I've been like, man, I've gotten so used to my upgraded weapon. Come on. I feel like I'm brand new again, switching to a different weapon. <laughs> Just gonna leave me alone. Thank you. You take too much time. You take too much time. I'm going down to our blacksmith friend, and we'll finally get this weapon repaired. And then go through that door. A lot of lot of detours to get to the... <laughs> to finally get to the, the right place, but... This, uh, this saves, like, 30 minutes of pointless stuff. Me running around, fighting enemies, dying, fighting random enemies. <laughs> Coming back to, to this. It's very interesting that they've pointed out now that every time that bell rings is when I'm connected to online and it's someone else ringing the bell. So that's, like, that's a very neat touch to having the game be online. Need anything forged? I need my armor repaired, please. So, 210 souls. Thank you very much, sir. May as well do my shield while I'm at it. Um, and I'm thinking, because I've got Titanite shards now, that it might be a good idea to... keep reinforcing the S-Stock, because I love it so much. Maybe? Kind of seems like a good idea. I'm going to do it because I love it. S-Stock 3, baby. And then I could go into S-Stock 4 if I really wanted to, but I'm going to save my... Neither of us want to. I'm going to save my Titanite Shards just in case uh, I need it for, for something else. But there we go. Beautiful. All right. Back to the door that we just unlocked, <laughs> and then we can finally, finally progress and see what kind of trouble we're going to get ourselves into. So, imminent death. It's waiting in the barrels, obviously. It's just dark. Oh, hello. Okay, these are hollows? Cool. Uh, also, I like the... Oh, I'm in the depths. There we go. Cool. Uh, I also appreciate the additional information that uh, my character is just, in particular, he is just an undead. We are not hollow yet. The, those enemies that we're killing are fully hollow. So I now have an understanding of um, reversing the hollowing. Like I'm on, I'm on the way, but I'm not. I'm not these guys. These are completely lost. Um, so it's it's really cool to really cool to be able to actually. See the difference. Large soul of a nameless soldier. That's good. Yeah, the the tips have been really good because they haven't been. Uh, they're not spoiler related. They're not like do this, do that, or you suck, or you'll like you need to do this to get past this guy. Like there's, it's just been very much like try doing this. This is a very good idea. Like it's, I I really like it. Oh god. Ah. And it's more so, you know. How to just, how to just be better, and not get wrecked by fire torch wielding hollows? My God! So we're in the depths. We got some messages that we can read soon. Oh, hey, buddy! It's a bit crazy there. Chill out. These hollows are stronger than normal too. Whoa! Is this my imminent death? Whoa, okay, Butcher. It's the Dark Souls Pyramid Head. There you go. The big old cleaver! And the overalls. Oh, he's a bit tough. You're a bit tough, aren't you? 
Whoa, okay, that was strong, yep. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're slow and threatening. What? Dude, I almost just fell down. This guy's cool. Oh, God. Oh, no, that was too close. I'm too close. I'm too close. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no, he's running. He's running. He's running. No. Oh, my God. Don't speed up, sir. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. He just suddenly speeds up. I died. Cool. Well, that's that's great. Looks like we're taking on the taking on Mr. Big Big Boy Butcher. I really appreciate the fact that your character like radiates light around him to like illuminate the area that we're at least in. Like we don't actually have to like hold a torch or cast a spell or anything. Like we automatically illuminate a dark area, and I think I really appreciate that. Because it would be really easy to just not do that. Good, good details that I that I appreciate. That's for sure. So let's just take it easy, guys. So as long as I kind of stay up this way, I can focus on taking out the the hollows and then have the big boy mostly be alone. Oh, he's chilling down there. Oh no, that's a dog. Where's the big boy at? Oh. That's him. <laughs> so he's chilling out, cutting some meat, and we've we've murdered all of his guests. And he's like, excuse me, I was feeding people. <laughs> now I'm going to have to end you. Is that right? Okay, he's still there. Maybe I just pissed maybe I somehow pissed him off before. Is he coming upstairs now? No, he's still there. Alright, interesting. I wonder what, what triggered him to come out before. Well, I'll kill your dog while we're at it. Just while we're at it. Oh. Now he's down there. Can I... Yeah, you can come back up. Cool. There's another dog down there. This is really funny, like, what? why is he coming for me, why was he coming for me before, but not now? This dog, this dog wasn't even coming for me originally, oh, okay, cool, now he's coming for me. Can I log on, lock on to the guy that's actually pissed off at me, please, not the dog? Jesus, whoa, hi buddy. I know we got off to on the wrong foot, but... Wow. You are quite agile for a big fella. Quite agile for a big fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, keep yelling. Keep yelling, buddy. It's not going to do you any good. Take fire. Don't really have much to say, do you? Get out of my life. I'm sorry I spoiled your food. Whatever you were making sure looked great. I mean, obviously a bit too tough if you couldn't even cut through it after all of that chopping, but that's fine. For another chest. It's been a while since we have a chest. Large ember. Large ember. Let's have a look. Ember for blacksmith weapon ascension. Cool. So weapon ascension. Um, now I'm going to do something just for a tip because like these these items I don't want to waste them. I'm not going to do anything with it this episode. Um, so let me let me know if it's worth using that on like the weapon I'm using now, or whether I should save that for something better or something later. Try lizard. Try happiness. Hmm. 
joy. There you go. That's how I'm going to read into that situation. Alright, there's a dog down here. There's a couple of dogs down here. Oh, we're slow. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We are much slower. There's some hollows down here as well. These dogs are much less aggressive than the other ones I've been facing. They're just kind of chilling until I get super close instead of running at me from a long distance away. Come on, buddy. Let's play. Let's play. Thank you. And then we get this guy. Hello. Cool. So, what's going on down here? Anything? I don't think anything is going on down here. Maybe this is just like I could have... Uh... Oh no, I can run up here. I was like, maybe I could have baited the guy down here and made him really slow. Need rolling. Well, I do have the ability to roll. Please, you must help me. Need rolling. Hello. Thank you. A fellow pyromancer. Feeling it alive. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. All the great small. I will not forget my death to you. I'm assuming that. I need rolling because if I was to attack the crates, I would probably stab the dude. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Cool, I rescued, uh, rescued a fellow pyromancer. Lovely. Thank you for the rolling tip. Cool, so he's, he's someone that's from, from a swamp area. Mr. Pyromancer from the Swamplands. I'm terrible with names, so I should probably be writing down all the people that I meet. I know that I met someone who's uh, loves to praise the sun. Solaire, I think. Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Whoa! Oh no. This isn't the... Got me through the collar. Got me through the collar. This isn't the same person who just come back to life, is it? I assume... That this is just the second one. Wonder if this fellow pyromancer could help me out. That would be cool. Ah! Oh no, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, I dodged, luckily. No, dodge! Ah, I pressed the dodge button, but I was running forward. I was supposed to do roll backwards. Ah, that's a that's a that was a painful mistake because it was he was literally one kill away, just one little stab. Ay All right, let's go back. I wonder when that how that person shows up. So now this person's gone. So they've moved on, so they're not here anymore. But then. I got my powers back. I just ignored that bottom area because you can just drop down from there, which is good. So I guess when I go around this corner... Oh yeah, cool. There's a, another one that comes in for a fight. Hello. Well... I kind of like being able to tap into my pyromancy skills here and there. Oh god. There was an input delay with swapping weapons and there we go. Dodging backwards is what we want to do. Oh. Alright, 
cool. Second one's out of here, and you got something for me. Sack! A sack! Hell yeah. Sack boy! Nice. We look gorgeous. Um... Bloodstained patchwork sack by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear, but is probably near meaningless in terms of defense. I love that. Got the cook's sack. He's not going to be needing it anymore. Uh, cool. Open a door. For a second I thought that this was going to be another dead end. I was like, what the hell? Okay. I think we were just progressing this way. See what's lying ahead. Uh, more water. Soul. Hello. I just got, like, actually eaten. I just got absorbed by whatever the fuck that was. Uh, so that's a trap. Don't go for the shiny objects because you will get absorbed by some blob. Oh, at least I'm not going to get ambushed by the, uh, by the cook again because he's dead. <laughs> the journey back uh, again begins. My question is, if I try to retrieve this, am I going to die? Because it's like literally right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can retrieve it. I can see something. Just waiting there. I can't, I, I can't like lock onto it or anything. So I don't know, I don't think there's any, any way for us to actually get that. I'm not going to risk it, so we're just going to now make sure that we're actually checking rooftops. Because I don't know if that was a one-time thing, or if it's just going to be hidden in the depths of everywhere. Look at that tiny door! Tiny doors. I'd love to see it. This one's slightly broken. I'm scared of there being something that's gonna- Oh my god! Oh well, look at that! I can lock onto this one. Okay, this one's dropping down. Oh, it's- Oh, it's dissolving in the- is it dissolving in the water? No. What is it doing? Ugh. What is it? It's so resistant to- uh, to damage. And barely- oh my god. Please stab it! Cool. Ugh. Ugh. But there's multiple. So these one, these ones at least drop. These ones at least drop down in advance. The other one didn't. Oh my god. How how about magic? How about this? Oh, that's good. That's much better. That's faster. I just hope that there's a bonfire so I can like refresh these. Cool. Well, let's do a bit of this. Oh, to be a pyromancer. Oh, to be a pyromancer. Alright, I think we're clear. That guy was just waiting to go crazy at me, but he didn't want to get sucked on by the giant blobs. Used master key? Ooh. <gasps> master key reveals a bonfire. Woo! Baby. Nice. 
Awesome. Why is there a blood stain? Why is there a blood stain in here? Praise the sun, baby. Try happiness. Does that just mean be happy? Yeah, master key, just for us to get a bonfire. That's great. That's been the best use of the bonfire so far. Oh, that's good. Bonfire lit, baby. What a lovely feeling. Um, and let's let's level up. Um, I might actually level up the... I don't know. I'll go for... Actually, I might go for some... Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Um, we'll just... Dexterity looks to be the best for getting more right weapon strength, so let's do that. Just because that's a lot of souls to sit on when I'm in the middle of nowhere that I'm probably gonna... probably gonna die in. <laughs> And ultimately, we can we can get souls back when I need it for the more expensive stuff. So let's go through here. What a nice little godsend to give us that bonfire. You get out of here. We're going to leave those guys alone. And have a look down here. Try shortcut. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we got a big one. Oh, that's... No, that's not a blob. That's a giant rat. I see its face. Holy hell. That's a giant rat. And a bunch of small babies. Bonfire ahead. Another one? Did we get lucky with, like, just being given, like, a secret extra one because of this area that's difficult? These guys aren't even attacking us. Great axe. Hell yeah. Alright. So, bonfire ahead, huh? Is that a... No? Yeah. What is going on here? This is disgusting. Ah, don't jump scares in my Dark Souls game. No jump scares in my Dark Souls game. Okay. There's a whole bunch of them. And I've only really been attacked by the one in the box. These ones are kind of just chill. Free souls, baby. Free souls. Sewer chamber key. Nice. Whoa. Sewer chamber key. Cool. Wow. Okay. Looks like this rat is my pet now because it's literally in my body. Soul. Ah, uh, that's going to go through to the fight. So we got a sewer key. There's also something down here. And a rat. I don't know if that was a hole or not, so I'm just going to quickly jump over that. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Hey, you're you're a bit big, sir. Where are you from? Look at this dude. Whoa, you can't fit, buddy. You're you can't fit in here. Oh shit, what's he doing? It's another one of those wizard boys. Ooh, he, did he just power up his rats? He did. This doesn't feel right, sir. How can I do so much damage to you from here when we're barely even... Oh, shit. No, come back. 
I'll throw a fireball at you. I've got eight of them. Come, no, come fight me, you coward. Alright, he's, he's backed off now. You want to fight magic with magic, huh? Take that. I'll give you some magic. Dude, where am I? This is cool. This is so cool. Dude, the rats are getting so fucking weird. Oh god. I've got two humanity just chilling on me now. I should probably be offering that up to like kindle that ooh, to kindle that bonfire that we came across in case I die. Oh, and then there's another grey area. Was that the shortcut? Because then we were able to kind of do a better job killing this little bitch. Be wary of lying in ambush! <laughs> Sir. Alright, none in that. Woohoo! Large Titanite Shard, hell yeah. Cool. I'm going back to that bonfire for sure. And it's probably going to be worth kindling that one as well. Even though we've still got 10 flasks at the moment. Look at these big rats. They're crazy. Humanity, baby. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting because I don't know... Because there's, there's two. There's one here, and then there's one over the other side. There's still, like, an area of this tunnel that we haven't checked out yet. Down this way. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! Get off of me! Get off! Holy fuck! This is one, yeah. I'll take you out the slow way, because I've already started. I'm scared to run over the top of them because I feel like they'll just eat me or something. Be gone. Another hole. Soul. Gotta be careful. I feel like those those holes will actually just drop me down um, into the fight. Am I like above that that giant rat at the moment? It feels like it. Because that's another hole. I don't know where they go. They might go to just instant death for all I know. Be wary of tough enemy. Yep. Oh. Hello. Oh, you're not even a boss. You are not even a boss. <laughs> okay. This changes things. I was I thought I was going to be entering a boss arena. Just a big rat. You won't even respawn. Yeah. You won't even respawn. Why won't it let me lock on to you, though? Dude, let me lock on. It won't let me lock on. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, no, don't. Don't you dare. Cool. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I'm not on top of the boss at all. I'm right next to it. So I'm assuming those holes just drop down to instant death then. God, that was almost so stupid. Why can't I lock on? What the fuck? What is this? so bizarre. Here I am, thinking this is going to be a full proper boss fight, but it's just something that I'm just sat in this hallway, just struggling to lock onto him. Oh god. Where he just takes out, he just takes out all of my stamina. Ooh. Buddy. Chill out. There we go, now you'll let me lock on. 
Ah, and then the lock-on comes off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One more, buddy. Nice. Big rat bitch. For some humanity? Yeah, sure. Soul of a nameless soldier. I got a lot of souls I could cash in. To be honest, I'm kind of saving them because it feels like that that's what I can just spend the souls on for the big medallion. Cool, cool, cool. There's a door there. It looks like it's the sewer key, so I need to get over there, get down that ladder and go through that door, maybe? That looks like it's death. That looks like death, so I'm not going to do that. Cool, though. Feels like I wasn't supposed to be able to pillage that corpse. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that means every body, because I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple of bodies on the other side of gates, and I just assumed we wouldn't be able to pillage them because they're on the other side. But there's one literally above from that, like, those... Um, cooking monsters that we just fought before. Oh, oh no! Oh my god, what is that? What is th what? What are those eyes? Oh, I can't believe I almost fell down. Oh, and he's about to curse me. Oh, those are the creepiest things in the game so far. Eye of death. Oh, I can't believe I fell down. I'm actually kind of glad that I did so I could get exposed to literally the most ugliest things that I've ever seen. Those eyes, my god. I'm just so glad that that was not an instant death. Whew. I panicked so hard for a second there. I can hear more, yep. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Oh! Oh no, I'm gonna get cursed. I'm not careful. Hold on, hold on. Let's chill out. Let's chill out, guys. Let's chill out. Let's have. Let's just have a fun time without cursing each other. Those eyeballs. What is that? Ooh. What the fuck? They like cursed people. People that got, that fell down here and got trapped with them and then got cursed. Where am I? Oh my god. Ring of the evil eye. Ooh. Well, let's have a look. Ring of the evil eye. Absorbs HP from fallen enemies. According to legend, this ring contains the spirit of the evil eye, a dark beast which assaulted a storer. The strength of the evil eye does not waver, and HP is absorbed from fallen enemies. Dude, falling down here was the best thing that could have happened to me, bitch. Yo! Absorbing HP? Hell yeah. Oh, you are alive. What the hell? How much health do I get? I do, I get a little bit. Fuck yeah, that's great. Awesome. Those cursed bodies are creepy. I am not a fan of sewer levels, right? Like, ge generally... Sp Ooh. Generally speaking, I'm not a fan of sewer levels, because they're always just annoying and they're like oh you need to go through the sewers to get to this way and it's like sucks but like this is the most fun i've had in a sewer level because it's it's so it's so much different it doesn't feel like it's like oh you need to go through this weird little side quest place to get to a location it's like very exciting actually it's like the bit the best sewer level i've ever, I've ever played <laughs> giant gross monsters and 
you got your typical rats, except like the giant one was funny. Oh, that's the other hole. Okay, that's the other hole. Just getting a feel for where I actually am. I'm so glad these guys aren't like immensely overpowered or something. Just really got to find my way out of here. Oh, we're back to some rat friends. Oh, yep. Ooh, chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your health. Oh no, this is an... Oh no. Okay. Hello, buddy. Oh my god, it's a small rat. It's a little tiny one. Night ahead. Oh shit. I'm just trying to get back to my bonfire, man. Where? Oh, this is probably not a good idea. There another blob, okay. Oh, that's that area from the rat where I said this looks like death. Not necessarily death, but it looks like it's actually potentially the way out. Shortcut ahead. Oh, hell yes. This is what I was looking for. Oh, this is that door, and then there's the ladder. Yeah, cool. So that's the side of the boss thing. This is what I was looking for. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh! That was literally hidden, like, right here. In some boxes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, this area is super fun. Um, so we've def defeated the boss. This is just going to respawn a bunch of rats for me. I don't expect to fall down that place again, so that's probably going to be okay. And then I guess we can leave, but it does say there's going to be a night ahead as well, so we should watch out. I should level up for that as well. So what I'm thinking is to get my ten flasks, I'm going to reverse my hollowing with my humanity that I've got, and we'll kindle this baby. Kindle this beautiful fire so I can have more flasks, please. Because I don't feel that uh, the, the humanity is super, super rare because it can just it can just drop and you can find it and stuff, which is good. So I feel feel good about that. Uh, we can level up once, and I'm probably going to actually give myself some more endurance this time. So let's do endurance and then hold on to the rest of my souls. Now I get to be... Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! That's a, that's a good way to start. Um, it gave me, it gave me a bonus flask, so I'm currently sitting on 11. Cool, well... Let's go down this way, and then we've unlocked our shortcut, which was beautiful. And check out what it means by the knight that's waiting ahead. Get rid of the rats, because they're the ones that are kind of moving around. We can go down that way, and then we can go in here. Merchant ahead. Oh. Oh, cool. It's locked. All right, so the key that we got is not that. Nice. Hello, sir. Donald of Zena. 
I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Ooh. <gasps> Gold pine resin! <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? That's so cool. Crystal straight sword. Great sword and a shield. Crystal weapons that cost... They're expensive. A crystal straight sword. Standard arrows. Helm of the Wise. Oh, this is his clothing. A strange helm from the ancient land of Xena, birthplace of the curious dealer Domnal. The two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. Um, cool. The many medals are believed to symbolize glory. The gold bracelet symbolize a vanquisher. The, inv the inlaid silver ring symbolize an explorer. Cool. They're expensive too. God damn. Cool. Well, this stuff looks pretty good. Fully crystallized straight sword. How such a weapon was created is entirely unknown. The crystallization boosts its attack but makes the blade brittle. The sword cannot be used for long as it cannot be repaired. Well, there you go. That's the downside. Exp oh! Buddy. Can't you see I'm having a conversation here with a lovely merchant? Jesus. Like, come on, buddy. Seriously. Ooh. Large Titanite Shard. I'll take it. Hi, Shawai. <laughs> this is my favorite voice so far. I love this guy's voice. Hi, <laughs> Um, Yeah, so immensely powerful but and expensive, but can't be repaired. No matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Well, yeah, I want to get some gold pine resin from you if I'm going to need it. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Hmm, I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Okay. Well, that is a shame. So that's locked. Um, interesting. Well, we're going this way. Let's go up here. Oh, we're out. No, we're not out. On another level. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a bit cautious because it still said night ahead before. Imminent fatty. Oh, I can't. Okay. There's a soul down there. I didn't think we'd actually be able to go down this um, on the floor here when I saw it because I think we were up there before and I looked down and I was like... Uh, yeah, the foggy wall. Come to think of it, I just realized that I got distracted fighting that giant rat, thinking it was the boss, realizing it wasn't. Um, and we actually never went through those two foggy walls in that sewer area, did we? We literally just left them alone. Um, I should see. I should go and see what those are. Wouldn't that be exciting? Let's go see what that is, because that's a whole area that we just completely looked over. So I'm going to go back. Because, yeah, as soon as I saw that foggy wall, I was reminded of the of the two that we actually ignored. So let's go check that. And our lovely shortcut here has been a, been a great time. Ugh. Um, I'll go back this way. We'll do it this way and check each of them. Makes me wonder which one will be if the the doors are just both on the same side and there's just two entrances. Oh, hang on, this is not the way that I want to go. I want to go through this way. Oh. So the, the rats go from never really bothering to attack me to almost completely poisoning me. <laughs> there we go. I was just trying to do... I was just trying to do a bit of a wider attack to get multiple in one go. Yep, forgot that you come back in your stupid boxes. Huh. Stop. Cool. Me. 
now. Um, through here was one of the foggy walls, right? Yeah. Okay. Traverse the white light. I've recently been to a bonfire, so that's okay. Uh, this is just one of two. Oh. Oh! It was the same foggy wall. And it was just a shortcut, because it took me through the here. Okay. Well, that's good to... it's good to know. Oh god. Should probably still acknowledge the fact that you guys are actually quite tough on your own. Just because you don't have the wizard guy with you, doesn't mean that you're not a threat. Cool. Uh, in that case, what we're now looking to do is just essentially go and drop down. We were literally just below this when I ran back to this foggy wall. <laughs> but we answered our own question. Um, we opened up the wall, and now we can go back. So I'll do that now. Okay, so let's go down here. Guard around every corner. You can drop down here as well. Praise the sun, baby. <gasps> oh! Because we're human. Right, praise the sun. Ah, oh, so this is a summon sign. So we can use our... So this is what this is for. Oh, this leaves... The white sign soapstone leaves a summon sign. So we can actually drop one for someone else. Is that right? Leave summon sign. Be summoned to another world as a phantom through your sign and defeat the area boss to acquire humanity. So it's like something different. But this... Touch summon sign. Does that mean... What does it mean? You're going to fight next to me or something? Oh, Knight Celeste, summon this phantom. Ooh, which means... Is that... Is this a... This is a boss. <laughs> but where are you? And how do... What? What type of boss is this going to be? Is it going to be a giant blob? Is all of this kind of weird... Gross stuff on the floor going to be a giant blob enemy? Because I can't see anything. Heavy cross... Ooh, a heavy crossbow. I can't see any type of enemy whatsoever. I want to see what we're going to get ourselves into first. Oh no, because then I'll lose my humanity, won't I? This is like an opportunity to, to do it. I think... I think I want to do it because I want to experience what this actually is. Uh, as a gameplay mechanic. Um, so we're going to do it. Touch the summon sign. Summon this phantom. Summoning phantom. Phantom Knight Solaire summoned. Dude. Oh my god. How cool! I've got him with me. Solaire. Try lightning. Oh my god, this is why the guy has the gold pine resin. Solaire, we must go back. Solaire, my friend. We must purchase some gold pine resin. <clears throat> I love that he's literally in the... The, the pose when he gets summoned. <clears throat> cool. He's still following me. That's good. Oh. Why is that like that now? Is that because I have this guy and I can't actually go that way? Because I'm only supposed to summon him for whatever's... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Am I only allowed to, um... Yeah. Am I only allowed to take him in, like, one particular area when I summon him? I can't just take him with me for the rest. Um, this is going to be worth buying two of them. So, let's buy two. 
That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. We'll make another fine trade, of course. <laughs> Uh, and then, let me actually equip that. Lore phantoms from other worlds, by the way. I, I, I forgot to read this. Eye of Death. Lore phantoms from other worlds. Only a uh, covenanto. The dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing eyes of death to multiply and leading to further proliferation of bane. Cool. So, equip that guy so he can chuck it on if we need with our lightning ability thank you for whoever reached out so this is good we can actually buy the gold pine resin before a fight that we need it <laughs> unlike um unlike the bell gargoyle where we were painfully having to kind of deal with it i was worried for a second when i was like summoned him and i was running around with him that he would only be with me for a limited amount of time kind of still am worried about that so i'm hoping that it's just he just stays stays with me for as long as his uh, health um is up there but you know i need to actually get him to not get stuck come on buddy come on little lost puppy little lost puppy knight come on down this way down this staircase okay you ready for a you ready for a fight, buddy? Let's praise the sun together. What is it? Please don't be a giant blob. Oh, it is. This is why it's. I need lightning. Oh, it's coming out of the water. Oh, it's a crocodile head on a crocodile mouth. What is that? Dude, what the hell is this? How many teeth do you need, sir? Oh, <laughs> gaping dragon. Knight Solaire, my friend, I'm so glad that I summoned you. It's literally crashing down. Oh, oh, no. Knight Solaire's almost dead. And I've done nothing to this guy. Just need to make sure I get all the hits in with this resin as I can. Holy crap. Dude. This is insane. Oh, he actually uses his tail. Yep, you do. Oh, God. Knight Solaire, no! My God. This is cool as fuck. Oh, God. Dude. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. I think I just lost my boy. Phantom Knight Solaire was vanquished. No! Buddy, I really appreciated the time spent with me. Because you you really helped me out here. Oh shit. Oh god. Ooh. Oh! No! 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 What is that? Oh god. Weapon- My weapon's broken. My weapon's broken. No. I literally repaired it. Why is my weapon broken? It's still doing damage. Come on. No! No, did I just die? Oh my god, I had it on one hit! I had it on one hit. 
I had it on one, man. All right. Okay. I almost got it first go. So that's what happens if I have the knight with me. My stock is broken, but its durability says it's 65. Cool. Well. Well. What that means is I'm going to go get it repaired. I'm going to go get it repaired. And then I need to... I'll save up souls, get more resin, and do that fight. That is an incredible looking boss. The amount of teeth on that guy. And he can grab you and literally eat you. I thought that was going to be a one hit kill. Having the having Knight Solaire in there was a great it was a great idea. Cause he helps to kind of distract the boss for a while. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Alright, back to the blacksmith, and then I'll try this again. This guy's back for some reason. Uh, oh. You again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? Milady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Like, literally, was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna leave with these two guys and the and my lady soon, so see you later. Chump. And then he comes back being like, I've lost her, I'm so useless. So, well done, buddy. Ah, why, Ooh. That's a fine ember you have there. I Interesting. Mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Give the large ember. Ooh. So we give it to him first, so we don't actually use it on one item, we just give him the item. I'm gonna do it. Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Alright. That means. Oh no, okay, so there's no weapons for ascension. Okay. That's interesting. Well, I've given him something, so... I guess that'll pay off in time, maybe? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, regardless, I'm going to upgrade this for my fight ahead. And I'm going to repair... Um... Of us I need to repair it as well. Well, uh, you need any? Why wouldn't it let me repair it? I can repair my pyromancy flame, apparently. Um. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. It says my weapon is broken. Oh no, when you level it up, the durability goes back up again. I guess the weapon it's referring to is my... Ah, it's my Pyromancy Flame. Durability, 0 out of 30. Ah, that's what broke. Okay. Repair for 60 souls. Interesting. I mean, sure. I'll take it. Cool. Well, in that case, I've given him... I've decided to give him the Large Ember. Um... My S stock is now plus four, and I've given I've decided to give him the large ember. So hopefully that pays off at some point. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and wait and see um, and find out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save up some more souls. So I'm going to do a little bit of grinding for some souls so I can then buy the gold pine resin, and then we're going to take out this fucking dragon with a million teeth. Okay, so, we're gonna summon our boy, we're gonna bring him back in, offered more humanity to do so, and we have a problem, is that our lovely merchant friend only sells a limited amount uh, of the gold pine resin. He only was gonna sell three. So we already used two, and now we only have one. So hopefully we just need to do as much as we can um, to 
make the most of that 60 seconds that we get the gold pine resin for to destroy this dragon and then hopefully we'll be able to like firebomb and maybe pyromancy the rest um with with a bit of with a bit of luck and a bit of bit of lucky hits so we'll, we'll see how we go so let's summon knight Solaire once again our lovely friend who did a great job distracting the guy for me and i just need to not get grabbed and i remember to need to keep around the back so i had i had souls prepared to buy the resin in bulk and unfortunately that is not a thing so let's traverse the white light where the boss should oh the boss comes in a in a cutscene lovely <sighs> okay an unskippable cutscene at that. Oh no, there you go, I can press start. Cool. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I need to quickly just get my stuff. Let me recover my lost power. Jesus Christ. Oh god. How strong are we without it? Uh, not very. So let's quickly use it. Really appreciate your assistance here, Solaire. Oh. Let's get back around him again. Come on. Oh my god. He's he's helping me out so much right now. Oh my god, this this weapon at risk as soon as that hits me, that's the problem. Oh, Come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Knight's doing a- I died! What?! I died there?! What?! Oh... How did I die there? I didn't even see- I didn't even see myself get hit. Must have been the tail. Cool. Well, we're out of gold pine resin, and so when that- When that material- Like, that shit that he vomits out hits me... What is it? Ah, it takes down my pyromancy flame. It takes down the durability of my pyromancy flame. So not my main weapon. Now I have to do it just with the knight. And no gold pine resin. So this is going to take much longer. I had to, I had that both times I like nailed it. Oh, now I just have to be super patient for this to even work, because now I have no lightning to help me. This is the second time I've needed lightning, and had to do it without it. If I don't have Knight Solaire as a distraction, that tail is insane. Oh no, I forget! I only do three hits! Because then he rushes forward. And then he chills for a bit. Okay, and then he'll turn around. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to do more than turn around. He's going to fucking... Uh. I wish you could lock on from more of a distance. What?! How did he grab me then? How did he grab me? He was wasn't he in the ground? Dude. How was he able to grab me? That was strange. What are you doing? Oh, God. Take that. Take some of these. Take some of these.
Oh, that tail! I, that was that was a very obvious tail attack too. There we go. He like really preps for it. Oh! Ah! No grabs. No grabbing allowed. Just stick your head in the ground. We love it when you do that. Oh my god, buddy. Stop coming after me. You're changing tactics. Oh. Missed my window there. Oh, what was that? So that's what killed me last time. He does like this weird fucking, he just, even if you touch him when he's just moving forward, you die. Takes all of your health out. Oh my god. We have a tactic though. We can do this without the night. We can do this without the lightning. What? I was dodging. Really? Really? No, don't get stuck in him. Oh, that was... Goddamn close. That was super risky. Shouldn't have done that. What? Yeah. I'm gonna run out of fire bombs at this rate. What the hell? That damaged me. That stupid running move should not do damage. That stupid running move is literally the only reason I've died every single time so far. My God, that's been the whenever I've had it. Because sometimes I can run in there and it won't do anything, and other times it's just literally like, you're dead.
Oh no, that thing. Yep, that's a move that you do. Dude, what the hell? I. Ugh. There's just nothing you can do once he does that, because it covers like covers the whole goddamn area. Should have seen that one coming. I'm gonna be out of flasks now. Hell yeah, my dude. Hell yeah, my dude. Cool. Well, I'm screwed. There's no way that I can do this now. He's just spamming the tail attack. He's just spamming the tail attack. Never mind. Cool. on. Sometimes I don't react to it at all. Other times it's like every single time I get stunned. That attack's fucking bullshit, and he can't even predict when he's gonna do it. He just does it when he feels like it. sake. <clears throat> no! How did you get me just then? 
Ay. Oh. What? What are you doing? How are you turning around so quickly? What the hell? Stop. Oh, dissipate. Oh, my God. That was close. got that stupid foot what sure sure buddy okay
my god! No! What is that? As an attack! Stop! One more. Die! Oh my god. Fucking hell. Gaping dragon! The Blight Town Key. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You fucking gaping dragon fuck. 25,000 souls. In the bank, baby. Fuck that piece of shit. Praise the sun. It's done. Holy fuck. Well, we came all the way down here for a Blight Town key. Fuck me. What's that 25,000 souls for? Probably to buy that crest to... That's the first thing that came to mind was if we're getting that many souls, maybe it's to buy that fucking crest, open that door. Because there's no way Blight Town... We know there's no way we're getting to fucking Blight Town through those ghosts. Not at this point. I'm not strong enough for that shit. Alright, that's nothing. Oh, Solaire, we appreciated your help in the beginning. And the fucking gold resin would have been great. But my god. We finally did it with one flask to spare. There was a there was a moment where I almost risked it for the damage. And I knew if I did, I probably would have died. I just needed to be the most patient person ever. <laughs> uh, so I could survive. 31k souls, baby. That was painful. Oh, actually, is is this the key? Maybe this, maybe this is, because this was locked. But we also have... Sewer chamber. Open the sewer chamber in the depths. I need to look for the sewer chamber as well. Hi, Shemai. We meet again. Yeah, hi. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Oh. Well, let's have a look. Is this for Blight Town? It is! Used Blight Town Key! Shit! Whoa! Okay. Oh! Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay, we're going down there. Dude, I'm going back to the bonfire before I even think about proceeding down there. But it's full fucking cool. So that's the Blight Town key. I need to f find where this sewer chamber um, is so I can use the sewer chamber key. It's got to be somewhere around here that I just missed when I was looking around. And I kind of want to see if there's anything worth investigating in relation to it. But holy fuck. We're done. Blight Town key. God damn. Well, what I'm going to do now is with the Gaping Dragon defeated and out of the way. I'm not going to spend those 31k souls just yet because I should hold on to... I should see if I can hold on to something. I mean, I, it's a that's a decent level up. Part of me is very, very cautious about what I should be spending it on, whether I should be leveling up or buying some other thing. So I will deliberate on that. But for now, guys, I'm going to end this episode here Capra Demon and the Gaping Dragon done in this episode. Very good stuff. We love to see it. Defeated Capra Demon on this second try. And then Gaping Dragon took absolutely forever. Um, I don't even know if the Capra Demon should have taken forever either. <laughs> or if I just got lucky. I mean, it's not about luck, guys. It's about skill. But regardless, I'm going to go down the path, apparently, to Blight Town next episode, and we'll figure out a use for that sewage key before we leave. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dark Souls, guys. Hope you're having a good time, and I'll see you next time.